I'm taking apart. Well, it's already fallen apart. But um, this construction paper is way too brittle. So I'm just uh, taking all the ephemera bits off of here. But I thought it would be kind of fun to share this because some of the things that she saved were pretty cool. Like she lived in LA. Hey Shelby. <clears throat> and um, Bob's, Bob's Big Boy used to be a restaurant and I used to go there actually when I was a kid. So I think it's kind of funny and neat that she saved what looks like, yeah, a straw. A straw wrapper, you guys. Like, she literally saved a straw wrapper. <laughs> How cool is that? So, I thought it would be kind of fun to go through some of the things that she had. So far, I just started. Um, I was going to do this last night, but my phone was dying. Um, so, so far, she's got old Valentines. But this is my favorite thing so far. She saved an invitation to the oddball. <laughs> And it was like a dance. Hey, Joey. And um, I'm like, oh, yeah, this has to be something that I keep for myself for sure. But the dress code was come as you are. 99 cents. I don't know what 99 cents was for, but maybe entry. I don't know. <laughs> right? And so this is another little, I think this was a concert that she went to or, or was in. probably went to I don't see her name was Arlene and then one of her little membership cards and then this was an invitation that she saved but look how pretty it is and you can see she had it all glued down so I'm just ripping up I feel bad but this this construction paper or whatever it is that the scrapbook was made out of is just getting everywhere so so I have to do this um, and I'm going to actually add some of this into the books that I'm working on. Or actually, uh, it's going to be an ephemera pack that comes with the books that I'm working on. So anyway, I'm just here to hang out with you guys and share this. Hey, Cheryl. So let's see. <clears throat> this looks like a postcard of some sort, maybe. Yeah, it's a postcard. I'll try and get this stuff off the best I can. I won't do all that on camera because that'll be boring, but it's a neat one. It's textured. And this must be another one. These are all from California. <clears throat> yeah, another postcard. And up here, what's this? Oh, she saved what looks like maybe a coaster from the Desert Inn. Probably like a, a drink doily or, or something like that. I just love the things. And then, I don't know if you guys can see, but she also had written um, notes. So she said, stayed here overnight, coming home from somewhere. Lake. Summer 1952. Is it a thick hot hot glue she used or thin glue? Um, I think it's a thin kind of glue because some of them came up pretty easy. Look how neat that is. Patrick Creek Lodge. <laughs> I'm using old journals that my mom kept about the weather. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. I love that. Yeah, some of the stuff is glued down pretty good, but it comes up pretty easily. But okay, so here looks like she saved a whole letter. Um, it says, I went steady with him for over one year. <laughs> so this is her his note to her, I guess. Dearest Arlene. I'll have to read it later. 
interesting. Okay, moving on. This looks like a um when you go to a restaurant, the um placemat in front of you. So this is obviously from Vegas, but this is a little vintage piece here. And it also says at the bottom, this is a souvenir. You take me home. So I guess she did. Yeah, treasure hunter. <laughs> it's so neat to see someone saved all the Oprah and stuff. Yeah, from her life so long ago. It's a reminder that we aren't doing anything too. Exactly. Here's another menu that she saved. This one is from Hotel Dallas Shop. Looks like this was in Washington, so she seems like she liked to travel. Hey, Issa. Okay, so here, it's a little piece. It looks like ice skating or ice skating and horse racing, 1952. This one's glued down pretty good. It looks like a travel brochure or activity brochure it's from somewhere that she went. So here, this is just a sticker maybe, Home of the Butterflies. And then this is probably another postcard here. Yep. Postcard. This is from a winery in California. All right, next, uh, let's see. Her note says, first boy I thought, and she underlined, first boy I thought I really liked. <laughs> and it's a letter from him. And she taped this one on. Dear Arlene, while going through my address book, I came across your name and thought I would drop a line. I tried calling you a few times lately, but your phone is always disconnected. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, next. So she stayed summer here at the Flamingo in Vegas. I've stayed there before. Oops. Tore it. I've stayed at the Flamingo before. I'm sure it's vastly improved since, well, maybe it was, I don't know how old it was when she went, but last time I went, it had just been renovated. It is, Shelby. It's like, and you know what else I have from, of hers, which I don't need to bring this out right now, but, because they're, they're letters, but I have a whole, um, a big giant folder of letters that, I think Arlene was a playa playa <laughs> or highly sought after, I should say, because um, I have a whole um, folder of letters that were written to her. And then eventually in the end, I think she married either Richard or Dan. I can't remember who, but um, a lot of the letters started coming from him, him only. So, yeah. So this is another piece from the Flamingo. Down here, she saved a ticket to skating rink. Hey, Lynn. I'm just going through an old uh, scrapbook, and I'm taking it apart because uh, this, uh, this construction paper is making me crazy. This looks like a business card, maybe. Oh, the Palladium. Okay, I actually saw prints at the Palladium. This is so weird. I've been to a lot of the places that she's gone to. <laughs> I actually saw prints at the Palladium in Hollywood before, too. So here, poem I wrote in A9. Read it for, read it for graduation class. So she wrote this poem and read it for her her graduation class. So, oh, this is awesome. So she um, wrote it out here and then she typed it out, I'm guessing, so that she could probably, you know, um, breeze through it when she read it. But the poem is called Night and it says, when all the world is peaceful and no sound can be heard, the night is like a poem that can't be a word. The trees all turn to silver as as the moon grows, throws down her light. The grass is a 
carpet of diamonds to add to the wondrous night. As I gaze out of my window, I notice all these things. Though I know I should be asleep, my thoughts are not turned to dreams. I think about the world and what I will be like 20 years from now. Will I still look at the night? Will I notice all the beauty? Will I even care to stare at the night in all its glory that may be found anywhere? Oh, I love this. Can you believe a whole class heard this? All their parents heard this. How awesome is that? So I have the handwritten copy. And you know what? Um, I think in that folder of stuff that I have of hers, she wrote a, um, I want to say she wrote some kind of manuscript or a play or something too. Hi, Rita. Good morning. That's freaking neat. I like how cool you can piece together Stranger's Life of Treasures. Exactly. So here, <laughs> so here she says, I met him in Las Vegas. I met him at Las Vegas at the Flamingo. So I guess she met this guy and he wrote her a letter. His name was Harry. <laughs> Told you, Arlene, she was the lady. She was the lady. Um, I better make sure there's no, oh, some of these have stuff on the back. I better pay attention to that. <laughs> she didn't do it on all, but some of them have stuff on the back. So this one does. So this looks like her little, um, like element, maybe uh, junior high or high school class photos. Let's see if I can get these off. So maybe this is Arlene. Maybe. I guess we'll have to see. But look at her outfit. I love that. How cool. So here's some more photos. She must have known someone here because she had this side faced up. And then these, if I can get them off without tearing them because everything is super old and I can't. I'll just take the construction for now. I'm just happy to get rid of this construction paper because it's really making me crazy. <laughs> it's everywhere. Yeah, her friends. All right, so more pictures here on this one. Oh, she's got notes. So this is, it says me and Butch in front of Judy's house. She had a dog named Butch. <laughs> Look at that. Sandy, this is her friend Sandy. Marilyn and Phyllis, her mom, her, her, her mom, Arlene and Conrad, and then just some more pictures down here at the bottom. So let's pop these off. So yes, she was definitely a pretty lady. I love that she saved so much stuff. And I love that she actually put these in a scrapbook and not a photo album. Okay, she taped these down so pretty easy. And then on this side, there's her dog, Butch. <laughs> that is her dog. And then she, look at, she fussy cut her little friends out. How cool. <laughs> And this must be her. Yep, that's her. And some more little friends here, I guess. Can't get that one off, really. Neither that one. This one's cute. <laughs> okay. I love that she fussy cut these out. So freaking cool. I'll get these later. Oh, and actually I have this page too, which ah, I need to take it apart because it's just falling apart. But she has a little, um, I guess another like something here. And I don't know what this is. A booklet. She really glued that one down. May 10th, 1952, Los Angeles Breakfast Club. Oh, it's like a program. Um, and then this one here, it's 
Sweetheart Serenade. Maybe some kind of little love note. But look, at it's attached to this little tiny pencil. <laughs> so cool, right? It's attached to that. And then this one is attached to this little tiny pencil. I, she saved the pencils even. <laughs> Steve Davidson. So look at how cute that is. Okay, moving on. So what do we have here? Another ticket, it looks like. It's a blue, blue and gray game, and she wrote a note on here that says, I'll let you read it. <laughs> I guess it's the shorthand name for Richard, and then got in for once. <laughs> And this one went, she went with Richard. I guess this is another, looks like someone actually drew these out. Oh, this is the original. This is original. Here, songwriter and band leader, George Gates. Arlene, my best, George Gates. Ooh, dang it. This is, um... A report card. Gosh darn it, it tore right here, but it's still pretty neat. Too enjoyable to sleep already Monday in Japan. Oh, wow, that's a big time difference. There's another ticket and then a little football schedule. And then on this side, oh, this is a roster. These are so old. This paper is super cool too. Alrighty. Oh, it's got some writing on the back of it. I stopped by, but no one was home. Uh, they spelled no, it's, they put no. <laughs> I'll call later so I can come over. Okay, next. Wait, was that it for that one? Yeah. Next, we have a little envelope. What is this? Oh, a note. You were, it's an invitation. So she got a hand, a handwritten invitation. She was cordially invited. So here, another invitation, and here, this looks like a little note someone wrote on a, oh, it's an invitation, and here, another invitation, these look like all invitations here, and then she saved a napkin, um, Loman's Coke party, hmm, interesting. Another note that she had written to her, and then another napkin. Uh, Chandair, Chante Dares? Shan I can't see what that says, really. Oh, it's, it, this is what it says. <laughs> Chante Claire's. Chante Claire's? She must have been part of a, um, a group, maybe? Here's a little notebook. It has little notes in it. She wrote in here. I'm assuming she little sketch <laughs> look at that she sketched out a little drawing and another invitation and another invitation I love that they used to like draw their invitations and like hand write <laughs> it's too cool and then a little note that she saved here bring seven dollars and fifty cents for invitation fees and then it looks like she wrote some foods, chili peppers, raw onion, two raw eggs, package of yeast, yay, 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 no me yogurt. So a recipe, I guess. 
So this is something, I don't know what, but it's on some freaking wicked paper, like parchment. And then this, something that she saved. She was the vice president of something. Probably the Shantae, Shantae, whatever that group is. <laughs> Hi, Gracie. <laughs> I'm deconstructing this old scrapbook that I have. So, cause this, uh, construction paper is everywhere. A little note. What is this? Didn't, didn't know just what to get or just what you would choose, but figured this was sure one thing that anyone can use. It must have been money. <laughs> oh, inside, <laughs> inside it says, ha ha. And something else. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was money, but it looked like someone was cracking a joke by whatever it was they put in here. <laughs> that is cool. Oh, it's a birthday wallet from Hallmark. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. So Arlene and Don. And another letter, it looks like. Yeah, the Chanteliers. We are the Chant Chanticleers, or I don't know how you say that. Chanticleers? Chandeliers. <laughs> More pictures. These must be some of her Chanty Chanticleer friends. Ugh, please don't tear anything else. So there's all those. And then a couple here. E. It's pretty neat. And then another imitation, probably. And another. Eh. What's this? And then another imitation. She was invited so many places. Jeepers. It's another one. Uh, it's a baby shower. And uh, this is for... Oh, it's a bridal shower now. <laughs> and it has the sizes in here. Blouse 32, slip. Oh, they wore slips. Dang it. That's so vintage. <laughs> slip size 34. Gloves. Glove size? Interesting. Six and a half. Panties, six. All other sizes corresponding. How interesting. Yeah, <laughs> a pink secret. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think I've worn uh, slips a couple of times in my youth, but not very much after that. They kind of just faded away, I think. I feel like anyway. Okay, there's a large picture here. The Chanticleers. 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 That's them. That's all of them. Um, I got to move this because this pile is going to fall over pretty soon. So far, this is all the ephemera we've gotten out of these few pages. So let me move. Oops, let me move this real quick. Whew. Okay. So paper is neat. It's a certification. These are like high school things. There's another report card here. What were her grades? Let's see. Arlene, she was in grade A12, so maybe a senior. She went to North Hollywood High School. So in chemistry, looks like she got a C. She was absent three times from chemistry. And then advanced computer, she got a B, absent six times. Typing, she got an A, absent seven times. How is she absent so like the numbers aren't matching. Maybe maybe she was leaving early sometimes or something. Uh, senior lab. She got an A. Absent five times. And physical education. She got a B. Absent four times. So it seems like she might not. That's weird that she was absent the most from typing but still got an A. <laughs> Superior is what A stands for. 
interesting. This is another certification, but I love this paper that they were using. Okay, so here's another page. Ooh, stuff on the back. So here, it looks like a ladybug, maybe? This is also made out of construction paper, so I don't think I'm really going to be able to save this. I don't think so. Um, I can save the top part, maybe. Yeah, because it's already tearing. Uh, there it goes. It's an imitation, though. A little ladybug imitation. If you're interested in becoming a Chanticleer, please write an application and application and give it to me, to one of the members by Thursday. <laughs> Here's another ticket. And this, sorry, my, phone, I, my phone's on the charger, so I hit the camera just now. Hi, Wolf creations. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> so another invitation. Everything was all just handwritten. They really don't, I mean, some of the invitations were cards, but a lot of them were handwritten. So this looks like she went to one of the many places she was invited and it was the little card, you know, that sits in front of, in front of you on the table with your name on it. It even has the original, whatever is in that little, is it rice? What is that? <laughs> Oh, yep, it's rice. <laughs> Piece just fell out. Wow. Rice from 1950-something, most likely. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I am dying. Hi, Perfectly Imperfect. It was, Gracie. I was so happy. And like I was saying earlier, I have a bunch of letters. And um, a manuscript. I don't know if the manuscript is here or somewhere else. But she was, a, uh, she was very artistic also. Outgoing, very much so, I would say. Another invitation here. Um, a drawing. I'm assuming that she did. Little cowboy. Fellow. Oh, is there anything? Yep, there is. Whoops. Um, <laughs> a banana drawing. I think it's safe to say she didn't become a chemist. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she did. <laughs> and so there's a couple here dancing and a couple here dancing, but he's saying, huh? With a question mark. So that's kind of interesting. How fun. Oh, one more. A little piano dude that she sketched out. Look at his crazy hands. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I'll set those over there. And then, so it looks like probably more invitations. A handwritten invitation. Wait, how is this written? Oh my gosh, you guys. Whoever made this invitation, <laughs> they, I was like, what language is this? They wrote the entire, um, like you have to hold it in a mirror to read it the right way because they wrote it all backwards. I am deceased. <laughs> How freaking like you have to hold this in, in front of a mirror in order to <laughs> to see what it says. You're invited to Sweet 16. Backwards. It's uh, going to be. <laughs> Right? Okay. Oh, the picture, that was a picture of Victor Borge. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Thank you, Gracie. It is, right? I can't with that imitation. That's like the best one yet, for sure. Hostess. And then another, another imitation here. Oops, sorry about that. Another imitation, another imitation. She was so popular, you guys. 1953. And it's probably a ticket or a business card. 
And then this one is another something. Our welcome day is here to stay. My name is blank. What's yours? See you at the dance. <laughs> okay. Next. Oh, let me see what you guys are saying. Sorry. Yeah, me too. I'm definitely in awe. I haven't really had a chance. Like I've had this book for uh, over a year easily. And I'm just like, you know what? I need to actually get this thing like used and broken down because as you can see, this like construction paper is everywhere. All right, another ticket. Um, probably, yep, imitation, sweet 16. So I'm guessing she was probably 16 in 1953 because she was invited to a lot of Sweet 16s. So maybe, maybe. Kickoff dance. So she was doing this at 16-ish. She was probably a teenager, I'll say, when she did a lot of this. This is from Dawn. Ah, uh, let's see. She drew some little comics. Please don't let me rip these. Let's see what they say. Me heap big. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to add speedball player. That's Arlene. So I guess somebody drew this for her because it says Arlene and it's pointing to this gal. So this one must be also drawn by, ooh, it's not going to come off. Mm. I don't think I can sa save this one. Oh, I think Richard is the one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. Okay. I think he drew this. So it's a, it's a car, the rod. I love you. And then this is him, Richard. And then he drew this as her with a knife in his back. What happened? Why? Did you draw that? <laughs> oh gosh, I have to see. I have to see what's on the back of this because. Okay, I can take this off because she taped it. So this, it's a evaluation and research. This looks like a tag. Sure, I'm going to the black and white ball. Opening, student registration. I'm glad she just taped these on because then I can just cut that other one off. That's a ticket, and then this is something. I don't know. Okay, but I'm really concerned about this backstabbing one. <laughs> I can um, save it this way. Killing me. <laughs> okay, let me see what you guys are saying. Uh, he was a famous comedian that played the piano back in the day. Oh, thanks, Gracie. I didn't know that. Hi, Deep D. Didn't you say Richard is the one you think she might have married to? I think, yeah, it was either Richard. I want to say it might have been. I would have to go down and get the letters, but she got so many letters from so many different, like Conrad and Dan or Don was one also. Smart move. Yeah. Thank you. I was like, I got to save that one for sure. Well, let's see what this one says before we move on. So here's Arlene coming in the door. What's happening in this picture? It's a recliner. It says guess. Oh, no. This is the mom saying Arlene. This must be her. <laughs> this must be her kissing Richard. That's what it has to be. That's exactly what it has to be. <laughs> he was a funny little guy there. So what do we have here? More drawings. Come Arlene into my flying machine. So his car, I guess. <laughs> it's funny, right? Um, lock it up. It's a house. Did a little tree. And then mem memories, a little car, and it says snore. Someone fell asleep in the car? 
it's Z's and Snore, and it's by uh, D G is the initials. Sorry, I gotta readjust here for a second. Okay. That's a pretty neat one. The paper feels really neat too. And then here. Oops. Tore. Dang it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I didn't lose that much. It says eek stop. Well, there's a zipper here. Up and down is what it says next to the zipper. Then it says, eek, stop. It's the back of a lady, I believe. And then here, they're sledding down. It says, eek. And then the back of a car. Interesting little sketches there. All right. Next. It's a, just a clipping from her school. Commencement. Another report card. How'd she do? Let's take a look. Physical education, she got a B. Civics, she got a B. Typing, she got an A. She's really good at typing. <laughs> um, costume design, she, wow, she got an A. Chemistry, she got a C. And student court, that's no, not graded. Physical education, she got an A. Pretty cool. So, madrinas, madrinas. It's glitter, it's handmade for sure. Madrina banquet. This is um, something, something typed out and it looks like uh, some of the letters didn't type out because they wrote in like the first letter or two, you see, like entertainment has the E-N written in. <laughs> I know they were probably upset at that. Can you imagine if they had computers, like, you know, they would have been able to just, oh, fix it. But, you know, <laughs> it was a done deal. So, oh, what's on the back here? Vespers, it's a program. Right? The <laughs> sketches are so telling. So here, this is a little newsletter for her high school. The future. Look at that little wolf, I guess. Oh, they're huskies, I think, is their mascot. I believe I saw huskies somewhere. Pretty neat. It's just a little magazine from her school. I'll set it over here some napkins that she saved Dave and Carolyn they might have gotten married this is another napkin um, Marcy and Sandy interesting another postcard San Francisco well oh, this one's got writing on it it was sent to her um, and what do we have here? Oh, uh, something else for her school, uh, her classes, I guess that she was, so she's circled literature, algebra, which is trigonometry, chemistry, ceramics, and dancing. There's a little... A little fellow there. Another couple of and these look like um, real newspaper, not school newspaper bits. I wonder if she must be in here somewhere. I'm guessing. Who's fooling? Who's fooling whom? Foolish day. <laughs> I'll put that over here and. Another, yeah, oh, you know what, this is for her school, maybe, or no, you know what, it's just talking about her, her school there. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I would have to actually sit down and read this. It's big paper, though. 
newspapers. I used to read the paper every Sunday and especially the comics and I would cut out all my favorites. <laughs> okay, so next, well, let me move this pile of stuff that we have. Ooh, this paper. Okay, so again, this looks like another one of those place cards that was sitting in front of her. Probably a graduation party from the looks of it. And I don't know. I, I, I think this stuff is interesting. So I thought I would just come and share it with you guys. So I hope you guys aren't like bored or anything. <laughs> but I think this stuff is really cool. So I thought it would be fun to share. This is a calendar of closing events for senior year. Somebody was doing some math, math on the back of this. Uh, football, um, little roster, farewell assembly. So we're getting towards the end of, yeah, so I'm thinking that she was 16 in 1953 because this is like a senior, I'm guessing like a senior farewell and it's 1955, which would make her 18, which is appropriate for graduation. It is, Lynn. Oh, thank, thank you for joining too. I'm happy that you, you know, you're you're liking this because I, I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe no one else is interested in this stuff like me, but I know Shelby, you are, and I guess you guys are if you're here. But <laughs> I just thought it would be kind of fun to to share this. Underwater fantasy was the theme, so this looks like a little seahorse. Winter class of '56. Well. So she was, well, this is like a puzzle. So she was still in school then, I guess, in 1956, because it says winter class. So maybe this one isn't for senior graduation. Hmm. We'll have to continue, I guess, keep going on. <laughs> Here's a letter, North Hollywood, February 17th. This is a letter to Lynn. Oh, from Arlene. How'd she get this letter back then? I'm really excited. This, so this is her writing. I'm really excited just to think I'll be... Oh, here's the answer. What year is this, though? <laughs> so in here she says, I'm really excited just to think I'll be 13 years old in about three months. But there, she didn't put the year. It says February 17th. So we do know that her birthday is in May, though, because she said she'll be 13 in three months. I know it's too far in advance, but I still want to tell you I am going to have a party on Friday. A week before my birthday, and you and Dee Dee are invited. I wish you would send me her address or call me and tell me over the phone if you can come and, and are worried about how you are going to get out here. I will tell... I will tell you, my father will come and pick you up at about 4 or 5 o'clock. Make sure Dee Dee's with you. You will eat dinner at my house and sleep overnight. It really, it, it really is a slumber party. All of the girls are going to sleep over. I hope you will be able to, it looks like she stopped and then came back and because the writing's a little different. I hope you will be able to come. I will send you another invitation later. Guess what, today I had my first piano recital. I was shaking all over when I got through. Well, what's new with you? Why don't you write me? <laughs> oh. You, 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 dog. <laughs> Underlined dog. You know, I don't mean it. I have a cold right now, and I'd like to hear from you, so please write soon. Yours ever, Arlene. Here's their address, and then in case you forgot. Which twin has the Tony? So I guess she drew some little twins. Wow. All right, so she was pretty good at 13 with her writing. This is a school um, exercises, it says. Let me see what you guys are saying. It is fun. So much came with that one person. It's like a biography. Oh, that's what it is, Lynn. Thank you for saying that. Um, she, she wrote a biography about herself. I, I don't know where it's, I think, <laughs> sorry, I think it's downstairs. Darn it. She she did write a biography. I can go get it if you guys want me to, to see the rest of the stuff. I won't read all the letters, but this is a newspaper clipping. 
this looks like another, yeah, another little name card that sat in front of her. It has a little ring on there. I need some water. Old yet up to date. <laughs> this teenage girl's room has about everything a younger, a youngster could des desire. A carved gilded chest and panels behind the bed came from Mexico. Flying horse was part of the carousel in that country. Also Mexican are hot pink embroidered spread and woven rug. Hmm. Interesting. This is another invitation, a reception. service award. This is a neat sticker. So some kind of awards stuff that she got. And what is this? Member of A6 class Lincolnshire School. Another report card guys. This one's from 1952. Let's see what she was up to. Spanish. She got an A. Spanish 2. Sorry. Um, science. She got a B. Typing. She got a C. Oh, so she improved. I wonder if those other, other, um, rep the other report cards had to be. Here's one. So this one was from 1955. Okay, so in 55, she got an A in typing. So she improved. Good girl. Social studies. She got a B. PE. She got an A. In English, she got a B. This parchment paper is wicked, you guys. There's another one. Uh, I need to drink some water. Sorry. I need to wash my hands before I touch my water, though. <laughs> Sorry. Moving on. Another newspaper clipping. And, okay, junior high school diploma. No freaking date. Why don't they date anything? Oh, they did. <laughs> it's written out in words. So, uh, June 1952. So she was in junior high school in 52. Okay. Okay. So that mean, must mean in like 55, she would be a sophomore, maybe? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Another, she saved all her little um, uh, name cards. This one has some really old ribbon attached to it. This, National Red Cross. She completed the junior course of instruction. How awesome. And a postcard from Dixieland. This one has writing on it. This one is from Tom. All right. This must be maybe, hmm. This girl was totally looking the other way. <laughs> cool picture though. So here, college, 1957. Oh, oh, self-analysis. Here it is, you guys. This is the one that I was telling you about. Oh, let me see what you guys are saying. Um, ooh, hold on. Yes, it is. It's so, so fun. I came across one person that's like a biography. Absolutely. I find it so fascinating that people kept everything. Now we depend on our phones and computers. It's so sad that we're losing these beautiful pieces. And I agree a hundred percent because you don't like, who's going to have all these invitations nowadays? Like nobody really does invite like they're all digital invitations now. So that's true. You were thinking the same thing. And I love that picture. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Okay, so this is the um this is the one that I was telling you guys that she wrote. So I guess she wrote this in college in 1957, December. 
It was for her Psychology 3 class. Um, it's a self-analysis by Arlene Bernstein, Psychology 3. And Dr. Singer was the instructor. Gosh, I remember doing reports with like this. Like it's like a folder with the Brads. <laughs> Who remembers that besides me? I, I mean, we were still doing that when I was in, in school. Okay, so I won't read the whole thing, but let's see. The purpose of this report is to give me a better understanding of myself and to help me realize where my occupational interests and abilities lie. I hope to be able to see my assets as well as my liabilities and learn how to adjust to myself and others around me. Very self-aware. It looks like an old brownie group photo. <laughs> it does. <laughs> the information I hope to receive will probably come from class testing and also from psychology and sociology books. In order to get in correct information about myself, I believe I must give honest answers to the test questions and other data. Well, let's see. Let's just flip through here. Well, we have the answer, you guys. <laughs> 20 years ago, on May 21st, 1937, in Chicago, Illinois, I was born. So, 20 years ago was 37? Oh, it says it. <laughs> 1937. Wow. I evolved with two X chromosomes, which means I am of the female sex. I am not married. Upon graduating North Hollywood School, I entered Los Angeles City College after completing one semester there. I enrolled in the Valley Junior College where I'm now a high sophomore. When I was about two years old, there's a typo, <laughs> my mother, father, brother, and I came to live in California. We lived in apartment houses until 1948 when we moved into the San Fernando Valley, which I used to live there too. My father had our house built, and we lived in the same house for almost 10 years. I cannot remember very much about the early part of my life, except that I was shy, quiet, and self-conscious. Well, we can see that that changed. <laughs> um, uh, I was never lacking of any necessities of life, although sometimes I felt I didn't have as much as my friends. My mother showed an interest in my school life, and she became a brownie. Ah, Gracie, you were right. She became a brownie leader in the troop I was in, which is this. Although, I took part in these. You're Gracie. <laughs> right on, gal. Right on, gal. <laughs> um, although I took part in these affairs, I never really felt that I belonged with the group or fit in with them. We moved to the valley when I was in the sixth grade, and I didn't mind leaving my old friends because I wasn't very close to any of them. It was hard for me to make friends in a new school because I was so shy. Oh, I want to keep reading this. <laughs> Let's see. She got a little feedback, I'm guessing, from the teacher. Good, good as far as it goes should be more complete. So some testing that she did. So this seems like some of the results. In the study of values test, I found my highest percentile score 95 plus in the aesthetic section. This means that I appreciate art to a great extent. My highest percentile score was 50, which came in the theoretical section. This means that I have average curiosity. The next percentile score was 45, which was in the political field. This means that my desire for recognition and prestige is slightly lower than average. Next comes economics, and my percentile score was 30, which means that material things aren't very important to me. My next score of 25 came in the social field, which implies that I desire to help other people. My desire to help other people is lower than average. My lowest percentile score of 17 fell in the religious group. This seems to imply that my religious and ethical concerns are very low. Interesting. And so th these are some of the tests. 
yeah, this is definitely something like, uh, I can't believe her family didn't want to, I felt bad kind of, you know, like, this is something that I, if it was my mom's stuff, I would, I would have this, this would be mine, you know what I mean? Like, I feel kind of bad. My mom was born in 32 and my dad in 30, so cool that entire era. Nice. My grandma was born in the 30s as well. My grandma was born in uh, 1927. One of my grandmas, 1927. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to just catch up with the comments here. So, this is an invitation, but it's interesting that it says announcement printed, presented by Arlene Bernstein no flowers. What does that mean? Don't bring flowers, I guess. Um, another invitation. It's hand drawn. <laughs> you too, Gracie. Okay. This is a graduation program here. Paper feels pretty neat. Um, Service Club Award, the ninth annual confirmation. So this is something for church. <coughs> uh, what else do we have here? We're almost to the end, guys. This is it right here. This last little, yeah, this is it. This is, uh, what is this? On-site photography. Photographics ink. Oh, it's like a mini yearbook. Okay, it's a mini yearbook. Oh, but this is um when they're older, I think. Right? Probably, because look at the pictures. It's like now them grown up and with their spouses and such, if they have one. Ugh, I gotta readjust here. Okay. This is uh, her hat. Yeah, I believe that's a hat. Oh yeah, it goes like, show. That's so personal. Arlene and Walter. Napkin. Where's Arlene? I know, oh, we let's see where she's at. If she kept the same last name. Is there an index? Yeah. Do I have anything with her new last name? I think all her, her letters have her new last name, but uh, I don't think it's burned. Oh, wait a minute. Just kidding. It is Arlene and Walter Parnas. That's her new last name, Parnas. And I put their address. Oh my gosh. This is so weird. <laughs> She's a secretary and she has two children. But where is she in the book? I thought it would have the page. It doesn't. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she lived like right by where I worked, where I work. Um, sorry, I don't know if you guys want me to move on, but I just wanted to see if there would be a picture of her in here. I'm just skimming, I might miss it. Uh, maybe Walter's who she ended up marrying, I'm guessing. The letters, I've, I've skimmed through some of the letters, though. They're freaking funny. Um, I'm not seeing her, you guys. I don't, oh, here. Wow, she's pretty. Let me hold it up. There she goes. 
There's our Arlene. So pretty. There she is. Okay. Sorry, I had to had to find that. <laughs> no, it's not extra work. I, I'm glad that we were able to see it. Bernstein, where was the one was the one I noticed? I didn't mean. No, oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you're welcome. This is a little clip. Right to work laws. Union leaders excesses. Hmm. Was she saving this or was she saving the, the comic? Probably the marriage. <laughs> this is a card, it looks like. Yeah, an imitation. Uh, another football program. This is something old. Ticket. It's a row seat. Uh, listen to instructions carefully. Hold top of card at eye level. Sit behind the person in front of you. Hold indicated color towards the field. What was this test for? Interesting. Another, another invitation. I'll see you at my wedding. You're in it. <laughs> see you real soon. Thank you again. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you for the shower gift. Oh, she sent her a thank you. For the bridal shower gift, I'm guessing. This may be her mama or grandma, maybe. Another imitation. Tiny little. Can we even ship things this small anymore? I thought there has to be a um a size like a requirement of how big it has to be, I thought. Something like that would get lost, I feel like. That's a little shower invitation. Hi, Jay. Oh, hey, Priscilla. <laughs> hello, hello. You're just at the tail end here. We just went through um, <laughs> an entire scrapbook. Uh, you're invited to a bridal shower. So that's a pretty little invitation there. This is probably Arlene. It's got the photo information on the back. And the last piece. Ooh. This says, congratulations, and it was sent by Western Union. But what's interesting and neat about this is um, all of this that you see here, this text, was, um, it's like been cut out and, and glued to the page. Like maybe they typed it and stuck the message on here. I don't really know. But that is wicked. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> and that is it, you guys. The good news is we can get rid of all this ugly construction paper. <laughs> Finally. Um, and then we're left with all of this awesome ephemera and interesting life of Arlene here and <laughs> um, yeah she's got a bunch of letters from a lot of different people and um, I have those as well um, I pretty much when I went I got everything of hers that was paper pretty much <laughs> um, so yeah um, that is it I hope you guys all had as much fun as I did learning a little about this lady here we're left with a really nice pile of all this stuff. Some of it I'll probably use original. Some of it I will probably keep. And some of it I will probably maybe scan and and um, share with you guys. Um, she's got lots of the neat like invitations and stuff. So um, yeah, even that straw wrapper. I mean, that was the first thing that I pulled out. And that, that was freaking awesome. Like I'm like, she saved a straw wrapper. <laughs> I hope I didn't lose it. But yeah, so uh, yeah, let me see what you guys are saying here. <laughs> that was awesome. Yes, Gracie. Can't wait to see what you do with it all. Me too. Such a cool find. Thank you for sharing while you went through it all. Yeah, I was like going to do it by myself. Like I set up my camera and then I was like, 
nah, nobody's gonna, <laughs> nobody cares about this. Then I was like, no, this is this is kind of neat and interesting. So I'm I'm thankful that you guys you know stopped by to hang out for a bit. Yes, you have a great weekend as well. So, all right, you guys, that's that's it. An hour, not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up what I'm working on. I probably will have a video mañana with the books and stuff that I have um, ready to go. So, yeah. All right, everybody. You're welcome. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Gracie, Lynn, Lisa, Shelby, Perfectly Imperfect, everybody. Priscilla, thank you. All right, you guys, I'm going to jet. Toodaloo.